Today's lesson, or in fact the series of lessons that led up to today, were all about developing speaking skills and specific, specifically focusing on pronunciation and clarity um, and getting the children to speak. And the problem with doing that in, in MFL is that when you've said something in a classroom, it's very hard to go back and actually do anything with it because it's out there in the ether. So in terms of assessment for learning, speaking is very, very difficult to help learners progress. Big picture then for this lesson today. You're going to use your knowledge of French to create an audio-visual presentation on Haiti. Before they start on their presentation, Chris gets his class to establish their own criteria for success. What are our success criteria going to be to make this really good? Fluency. Fluency, brilliant. Pronunciation. Pronunciation. It's like, it's, it's got to be loud so like, so you can hear it. What are we going to call that? Yeah, isn't it? So it's clear and loud. Chinese complex sentences. Excellent, well done. Let's go. The finished presentation will be about aspects of life in Haiti and the effect of the 2010 earthquake. That was like the first plan we made, cos like it's like a mind map about what we were like, just like jotting down what we were going to write about in my script and stuff, and it was just like our first ideas going on. The next stage is to assemble their images and text onto a video editing timeline. You just drag and drop them on. It's really simple software to use. And then you can change the colours of them. You can put effects on things. It's simple, really. We're doing um, a history of it, and we're doing a little bit about um, before the earthquake and after the earthquake. We're going to record our voices and put it into the movie, and um, so we describe the pictures in French. Trevor. Tremblement. Tremblement de terre. Malheureusement. <laughs> Malheureusement. <laughs> they then record what they've previously written about the subject. Je suis un enfant d'Haïti. Je me réveille, je sens le froid. J'arrive à l'école et je pense que c'est ennuyeux. C'est toi le français. J'ai faim parce que. Qui... Je n'ai pas à manger. Bonjour, je m'appelle Daniel. Et je dois 14 ans. We've just done the recording, now we're going to upload it to Audacity and check and get all the like wrong bits out. So you go, project import audio. We'll try number three. Then and that should be it. Using this software, they can edit their sound recording to improve what they've done. It sounds OK. It does. It sounds better than you guys. So I just edit in it to make sure we get rid of all the mistakes. Like taking all the gaps that we've missed and all the words I've misread and then recording them again, then copying them in. But in terms of actually editing anything out, the only thing that you've missed out is here. You've skipped that line there and you've gone straight from on IET to the Tongue Le de Terre. Right, there's still a little bit at the beginning that we can delete, isn't that? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's probably the best we're going to get it, do you think? Yeah. The use of the different technologies, so things like Audacity and Photo Story, the generation of children that we have now. It's second nature to them. They're absolutely immersed in this all the time at home. Once we've um, tidied it up, we're going to uh, put it into um, a little movie maker presentation here, oh, yeah. which has got pictures of um, like all the stuff which has happened in Haiti. We're going to um, drag the speech into the timeline, which will add it to our movie. And then we can now make the picture smaller to fit in with our speech. And then it should be done after that. It's good because it's like something different. So that's quite good. And it's like it's not that hard to use either. If you make any mistakes, like say so there on Audacity, you can just cut it and trim it. I mean, when I speak French, I've got like little pauses in between each words because I'm I'm not that fluent to be honest. And I just go into here and cut it as small as I can. When you put it together, it sounds fluent, so it helps a lot. When you're talking normally, you you can't really pick up if you said something wrong. Sometimes if you're concentrating. 
can say something by an accident and don't realise that you've said it. If you use a microphone, you can play it back and then know that you've done something wrong and you can re-record if you need to. You could listen to what you'd recorded and then you could like hear what you've said and if that was one word, you knew you had said wrong, like you picked it up straight away. So it was helping you like listen out for like bits that have gone wrong and stuff like that and improving like not your vocabulary but like how you say it. But how is the students' work monitored and assessed? To make sure that they stayed very structured in their approach to creating this product, um, we set up an e-learning portfolio, what we call a raffle, which is a, it's um, real assessment for learning, and it's basically just a, um, a checklist or, or so some success criteria, which we give the children to work through, including um, saying I can, and then a skill they're developing because I have, and what they've actually done to do it, and also a space for them to upload evidence so that they can evidence the steps they're taking and um, the progress they're making in the learning. So that keeps it nice and structured. On the first one, um, we did uh, um, like a spider diagram of all our ideas and we had to upload it to here and that's like where research focus. And then the next one is um, like to draft a script but we can't upload anything because we did our scripts in my books. So we don't upload anything there. And then the next one is where you edit in Audacity. So like you can upload your Audacity file that you had, so I'll upload that now. So then you insert audio. If I now go and view this as the mentor, so I'm a mentor for this, for this class, and I can then open up the evidence that she's uploading her portfolio, so I can check just to make sure that that's uh, being done, and I can then look at the quality of that. Um, piece of work. So all of those, all of the evidence just gets um, goes up into the sky into their um, portfolios, and then I can access it with anywhere but a web access. So I can do this at home as well. The final one's the most important one, which is your yeah, final presentation. Upload to the internet into a link. So now when Sir like clicks on our profiles, you can see that we've uploaded the video and everything and you can click on the link and watch the video and then in the little progress box you've just got to click on the smiley faces which one you want what do you think we are green probably yeah because mm -hmm. we met the success criteria and then that's that finished obviously at the end of the day learning a language is about communication it's a, and a lot of the time it's about speaking and that's something that I think um, we need to develop and we need to use ICT as a tool go back a bit like back like there. Well, because technology changes so rapidly, but pedagogy and excellent outstanding pedagogy stays the same in many ways. It's only a tool. <laughs>